we made it to Trani, which has a very special sort of cathedral. I'm basically um, wearing a mask now because I smell like garlic terribly because of yesterday's aperitivo. It's really bad, so I don't wanna... I'm doing true social distancing now. But this looks delicious again. A little cappuccino. Beautiful place. Look at how classic this is. We're in Trani, guys. One of the last places of this trip because it's already late afternoon. Um, El gelato pepper. Si. Allora, c'è fior di latte, cioccolato all'acido, cioccolato con niente, cassata, caffè del professore che sarebbe un misto tra caffè e nocciola insieme, fragola, nocciola, limone e stracciatella. Va bene. Cosa facciamo? Un cono? No, no, un bicchiere, per favore. Bicchiere? Sì. Faccio un cono? Sì, va bene. Con fior di latte e fragola. Fragola? Sì, grazie. Prego. Un cono senza panna? Un poco panna, sì, grazie. Look at these delicacies. And the biscuits. And obviously we're having some ice cream today as well. Mille grazie. Che bello. Grazie. Wow. That looks delicious. Little park here in uh, Trani. And isn't this just the most beautiful place you've ever seen? Wow. I'm stunned. It has palm trees. This is one of the most tasteful parks that I've seen in my life. This. Wow, I was not expecting this in, uh, in Trani just like that, which is a small town. Fairly small. But it seems that this deserves more time than just a few hours. It's a garden at sea. Just look at these, these palm trees, little benches, just very cute, tasteful. And taste is something that the Italians have in abundance. And here we have the seafront. The Adriatic. Yeah, it's so cool. It's part of the defense walls, I see. Here we can, uh, here's a sort of beach club. It's not quiet because it's during the day. Uh, during the week, it's Friday. Here you can swim basically. I don't see anyone swimming, but uh, it looks inviting. I must say, I love this, I love everything about this. I don't know, I'm truly blown away by this whole trip, all the things I've seen, it's just been, everything has been good and incredible. Listen to this. Wow, there's a tropical bird here, I think they're from the... Yeah, they have a sort of shelter here. This is not just normal birds. I see some very colored feathers. But anyway. It's just mesmerizing. It's some of the most romantic places I've been here, this little park. 
This is probably a part that songs are written about or poems are are written as well. It's just the subtropical, the vegetations, it's with the birds and the sea. I don't know. I'm just blown away. You'd have to see it to believe it. Walk here yourself. Become truly at peace. Time stops here. There's uh, beautiful terraces here. It's still working day, but trust me that in the evening this will be packed with people. And uh, I'm just really, really overblown by all of this beauty. Really, I don't know what to say. So just look at the uh, the video. What I can tell you is that it's just been a very beautiful trip coming to an ending slowly and uh, I can only recommend the region of Puglia because it's been a big surprise for me. I initially thought it wasn't worth visiting even. Boy was I wrong. And there's a castle on the seaside as well. On the shiny Adriatic coast. And to my back is the beautiful cathedral, which is now under, under renovation, but no less beautiful. So well maintained here as well. Strani. I think it's a popular destination truly Probably with people coming from all over Italy like the whole coast around Bari Must be very popular, but now during the day. It's obviously quiet because You know we can still to begin in a bit <laughs> 